In this video, we headed for Tasik Cermin 1. It is in the same area as Tasik Cermin 2, but just a bit further in. The car park here is much bigger and can even accommodate a few tour buses. Here we see an art piece called the Rocky Sky Ladder with 22 steps leading up into the air. When you get to the ticket counter, you need to produce the identity cards of everyone in your group to get the discounted rate for Malaysians. Non-Malaysians need to pay a higher rate. Unlike the Mirror Lake 2, you can walk to the lake via the Miner's Tunnel. The tunnel is wide and you need not worry about bumping your head on the high roof. Just as you reach the exit to the lake, there is a section for you to collect your life jackets if you had booked a boat ride. The sight that greets you as you exit is beautiful. The lake here is much larger than Mirror Lake too. And if you are not here at the right time, you may not see the mirror reflection in the water. as well as a long floating deck, allows visitors to get great angles by taking photos or videos of the beautiful surroundings. Much like the other lake, tin, iron, marble and limestone were mined here. And I guess you have the same animals, fish and plant life here as well.
As we were heading out, we noticed sparkles in the walls of the tunnel. We suspect that these are tin deposits within the limestone. Anybody can confirm this? Or if you know what these sparkles are, please let us know in the comments. We stopped at the miner's cave to see what's on the other side. Without a selfie stick, you will not be able to see into the cave. to visiting the lakes, there are other organised activities here too. This includes Rocky Walk Hiking Trail, Panther Valley Trekking Challenge and Snake Mouth Cave. Soon, camping will be added. This concludes part 3 of our Ipo trip. We are headed for the final venue which is within walking distance. Do join us in part 4, coming soon. Thanks for watching!